While stocks are plummeting and so is cryptocurrency, real estate is moving up. Selling your home isn't as hard as it may seem. Would you call Brian Crawford at the New Mexico Dream House team? Hi, this is Brian with New Mexico Dream House at Keller Williams. Over the last 30 days, S&P Global Fund is down over 8%. Cryptocurrency is down. In fact, Bitcoin is down more than 13% over the last 30 days. What does that mean for you? Well, it depends. Is your investment portfolio in real estate or is it in crypto and stocks? I mean, I have a little bit of everything. But overall, there was an international real estate fund that spiked over 20% last week. So people are starting to hedge their bets and as the stock market's going down, inflation's up, they're looking for more tangible assets like real estate. The other cool thing about investing in real estate is that you can invest in real estate with 20% down. Now, if you're a person who wants to move people in, maybe bring in some roommates as a single guy, if I had it to do all over again, I would have bought a house, a four bedroom house, and I would have rented out three of the bedrooms. And you can buy a house with as little as three and a half percent down if it's your primary residence. In fact, there are programs out there, including the New Mexico uh, bond loan, that you can put as little as $500 down to purchase a house. Now your mortgage will be significantly lower than rent. So then you can start renting out other rooms, fund your mortgage entirely. We call that leverage in the real estate investment world. So you can put down 20% and have an appreciating asset. What I've always thought was peculiar is Wells Fargo, you can go down there today and take out a loan to buy a house and, and put down 20% if it's an investment. And they won't do that with their stock. They're not going to loan you $200,000 to buy their stock with just 20% down. Real estate is really the only investment that you can do that in. So real estate's a sound investment. All the indicators are showing that we're going up, up, up into 2022. So if you're on the fence about buying real estate, the best time is right now.